Let's take a look at rational functions, graphing them on a T HP Prime graphing calculator. Now, um, from your apps menu, if you're not there, you can press your apps button. We want to go into function. So highlight it and then press enter. And let's take a look at our first one. So let me, um, I should have had my tablet up and running. Let me bring it up. Now the trick to these, we got f of x is equal to x plus 4 over x minus 3. Whenever you have more than a single number or a single variable on top, you want to make sure to put parentheses around that part. So put parentheses on top, parentheses on the bottom. Sometimes, especially with HP Prime, in certain cases you don't need to do that. But if you always follow that convention, you'll, you'll always be safe on any graphing calculator. So now that I'm over in uh, my function, if you're not right here, you press your sim symbol um, uh, button, and then I'll do my backspace. I'll do my parentheses, and then x plus 4. And I'll press my right arrow key to get it out of the parentheses. Now if I do a divide, see what it does? It puts uh, this down below. So I'm specifically in my denominator now. So I wouldn't have to put parentheses around the bottom part. But I'll click my parentheses and then I'll do x minus 3. And then after you press enter, it gets rid of the parentheses anyway. Okay, and then we're going to press plot to see the graph. And this is our answer. Sketch it. Uh, of course, I didn't draw it very well, but <laughs> you get the idea. Uh, and that's our graph. And let's take a look at another one. Let's take a look at this one. f of x is equal to x plus 1 over x squared minus 4x minus 5. Again, the trick to it is put parentheses around the top, parentheses around the bottom. Move back my calculator. And then I'll press my um, symbol. And then do a backspace. And then we'll do our parentheses, and then x plus 1. Right arrow to get out of the parentheses, then divide by. And I'll put parentheses around the bottom part. And then I'll do my x key, x squared, minus 4x, minus 5. And then press enter. And now if I press my plot, this is what we get. Mm, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Something like this. And over here. Something like that. Okay. Now that's what the calculator gives us. Now I notice over here, although it probably didn't draw it real well. It appears to be skimming this line right here. This is um, x is equal to 3. This is our vertical asymptote. How you find a vertical asymptote is you uh, factor the top, factor the bottom, uh, cancel if possible, and then you set your denominator equal to 0 and solve it. Well, and we can see it's skimming it, so that's pretty obvious. Now over here, if I found my vertical asymptotes, we'd factor the top, can't do anything with, and we'd factor the bottom. Bottom part factors as x minus 5 times x plus 1. Notice after we do that, the um, x plus 1's cancel. And we end up with 1 over x minus 5. And then to find a vertical asymptote, you set your denominator equal to 0 and solve it. And we get x is equal to 5. Well, that's no big surprise. It looks like there's a vertical asymptote at x equals 5. But how about this one that canceled away, that x plus 1? Um, it's not, the graph is not defined there. If I were to set the x plus 1 equal to 0, we would get x is equal to negative 1. Now, um, 
this was a vertical asymptote, and that's a line that your graph skims at some point. This other one, though, x equals negative 1, if I come to x equals negative 1, which is about right here, and I look at my graph, there's a hole in my graph. So there actually should be a hole there, a little open dot, open circle. Um, the graphing calculator will not give you that, uh, that piece, um, but that actually should be there. So it should be right, right there. Anyway, that's graphing uh, rational functions on an HP Prime calculator.